What's up guys, we're gonna build beats and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a really cool free plugin you can use. So if you're tired of using stock plugins, um, this is gonna be perfect for you and I'll leave links in the description for it because it's free, of course. Um, and this is Surge. Now this isn't necessarily new, but it's something I started using recently um, and it's actually really, really good. I'm not gonna go through all of the settings, but you know, you have your basis of your oscillators, right? You can kind of have all this customizations with it. Um, and there's so much you can do, there's so much customization. And this is why I like it. Um, I think it's going to be a good plug in to have in your arsenal, especially like if people are going to drop banks or if you just want to create your own sounds. This is something that I think is low um, or lightweight on the CPU. And it's really cool. You can customize it. There's like skins and stuff, right? And everything you could probably want for the most part is in here. Um, you can kind of create any sound you want, but I'll go back to the original. Um, and there's a lot of uh, skins out there, third party skins you can get that are cool too, but I just stuck with the basic ones here. But you know, you have your effects and stuff like that. You, I don't know if you can see those on screen, but uh, you have those effects you can use, right? And there's tons of patches as well, right? I could just go through a few. All right, some really cool sounds. I really like this one sound in the winds. It's like this weird. Where is it? Oh yeah, this sound. I really like these sounds. So those are just some of the sounds I like. But if you click here, you'll see there's a ton of like factory presets, right? And you have like, well, there's a lot of leads. Um, you have like templates. So if you wanna learn how to sound design some stuff, you can, um, but there's also some third party stuff here. Okay, I'm not gonna go through everything, right? I just wanna kind of show you how to make a melody with this uh, and everything like that. Um, I'll probably make some like videos on sound design or something like that in the future. But as far as uh, what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you how to make a melody with it. So let's hop into it. Looking for a deeper learning experience? Check out our courses over at Producer Portal. And if you're new to producing, the Ultimate Beginner course is perfect for getting you up to speed with the rest of us. Now, let's jump back into the video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw down our chords for this, okay, for our little melody. So let's go in here and no scale. We're just gonna kind of just roll with it. Um, Let's do, I don't know, let's do like a D sharp minor. Okay, so start here and I'm just do something generic just so we can kind of get the point across. Um, and then yeah, we're, we're just I'm gonna use the lazy method where right? I'm not gonna use any tricks. I'm gonna just use my ears. So I'm gonna just pull things up. And if I like it, I'll pull it up. Let's just say I like that, right? And you just keep doing this. You don't need to worry about the scale. This is like the beginner easy way to like start making these chords. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then we could probably pull something down that we don't like. Do a little fun. And I want these to kind of leak over a bit. Just a tiny bit. All right. And then we just do the other the other ones, right? So over here, um, maybe do a chord here. Pull that up. Maybe we could drag some stuff over. Um, Okay, sounding pretty nice. Um, and then once we have this other half, you could literally just start dragging stuff over if you wanted to, right? So we could just even leave those there. And then all you really need to do now is just keep stealing, right? So you just do something like that, or I don't know, whatever you wanted to do. Let me see, actually, I think we could kind of complete this chord here. There we go. Um, but I wanna move these over. Right, and then you're probably wondering, okay, how are you just knowing which one works? Well, you have chords, right? So I'm gonna just, uh, where is this stamp? So you have chords, so let's do like a major. And this, and this is mostly only if you're doing, uh, if you're like making uh, chords visually, right, making music visually, but you see these chords, right? Well, at their base, these chords are just patterns. So you can see there's three spaces here, two spaces here, and this is for your major. And this is suspended, there's one space, right? And then there's two spaces for the minor, right? So if you come over here, if you look, you can literally just see this is just a major chord, right? Now it's just this part I highlighted. Now, if you flipped it or took the whole thing, right? It's not, it's actually a minor, but a minor seventh. But all you have to do is look at those combinations. Like right here, you can see this is essentially 
a major right so that's how you know it'll sound good or at least help you get to what, what you're trying to like find or hear and i'm not really explaining in super detail so it might may sound a little bit off but it's just the, the basic way to do it and then let's double these up Right, and then I will probably edit the uh, kind of edit the velocity, but I think we're fine here. I'm gonna copy this to one of these. Uh, I think we'll do this one. Okay, this little organ sound. I'm gonna pull these down an octave. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna keep it. I know we took a while with this, but I wanted to at least make sure the chords, people understood how to build it with their ear, um, rather than me like, oh, well, you know, this chord, seven chords, you know, all saying all this stuff, right? Uh, so yeah, I like this. Uh, we'll just kind of tidy this up a bit and everything else would just be kind of like your accents, your counters, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our little lead now. So this is the sound I picked. I'll probably even favorite it so I can get back to it later. Uh, so now we just want to add a little smooth lead to these chords, right? Like I said, I want to just make some smooth. Uh, so um, we can start on our D, just pull that up and just kind of play around with some of the notes. Now, if you don't have a scale in the background or scalers or whatever you have for your scales, um, you can just take the notes that you already have and kind of play around with those. Uh, so. I'm gonna just do a flam here. One a little bit longer. Okay, I like that. Um, let's pull this up. And then let's have a little bit of fun, right? Let's have a little bit of fun. We don't got to do like these boring melodies. Let's do, let's do a one fourth. And maybe we can do like little flams in here. We can end here. So this is where we'll, we'll end. And we'll add a little flam, right? So if you just know your beginning and end, you can have fun with the in-between, right? So we're going from D sharp to our G. So you just got to kind of play around with these notes in between. Um, so. Let's do. Maybe we can pull these over a little bit. I like it, but it's some sounds off about it. I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm gonna try to. Maybe we need to. I think that'll do. That's fine, right? Like, it's not that serious. Have a little tap at the end. And we'll 
just let it kind of ride out from there. Kind of tired of making this. So let's play it. And I'll have this stop like right at that transition. So that's the lead. We're going to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next sound. Now we have this little playful lead here, and this is kind of like a custom. Um, all I really did was just add like some reverb and tweak a little bit of things, but this is what it sounds like. Okay, sounds pretty cool. So um, what I want to do here is just kind of add some little things in here, because I think the base of the melody is fine. If we could just add bass and be done, but I just want to add some stuff in between. Um, so. <laughs> Maybe something right here. Um, maybe we can do maybe. Oops. Oops. Make a little seven. And that's kind of See how that sounds. I'm gonna pull it up an octave though. It's kind of hard to hear, but I kind of like it so far. Okay, I'm cool with that, not the best, but I like it. Um, so I guess we can just move on to our next sound. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our last sound here. So um, this is what we have, this little bell. Okay, um, again, just edited basic preset. So let's go in and I just wanna add some little tones in here because I feel like this is already a lot, um, especially if you like take into account like you would need drums, the bass. Uh, so I don't know. turn the velocity down a little bit just so it's kind of in the back I don't want it to like be too strong um I'm gonna take this flip it Trying to make sure the rhythm is the same from over here. I'm turning that velocity down a bit. I don't even think it's doing anything to be honest, but whatever. So yeah, that is our little. Okay, we got our little smooth melody. So last part is we just add some bass to kind of glue it together. We'll be done. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our bass. So this will kind of bring it all together. So for this little plugin, you just want to take all these little coarse knobs and put them to negative 24. And you have like a, a subby little bass. Um, so I just picked this one just cause it was just easy to pick. So um, all we really need to do is just kind of copy this. Um, but we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting, obviously, because you don't want to just do like, oh yeah, this is my bass line, right? Like not really fun uh so we can kind of play around with this uh these slides and stuff right i'll turn these up and then maybe let's do i 
Actually, I'm gonna copy this. And just pull this down an octave. And I can tell this is gonna get a little crazy, so let's make these like boring bass lines a little bit more interesting with these slides. <laughs> shift D that and then maybe we could uh, I don't know play around with this a bit and then we can take this just let me see oh wait we gotta slight one up here okay i think that's cool um and then over here we'll just go a little bit basic i feel like we are kind of doing a little too much and we can just kind of just copy this and then we can just use those little techniques we just did over here uh, probably like this. See. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now we could like add effects and stuff, but I'm gonna just use a bare bones plugin, like what it sounds like. Um, and I'll just kind of turn stuff on and off as we play. So I just want to kind of listen to some of these without the extra sounds. <laughs> I think that's pretty good so it's gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace